Hi, Mondo Bobcats. Miss Britton here. I'm going to show you how to get to Clever and Seesaw using your iPad. So I'm sharing with you an iPad screen. All the iPads look a little different um, based on what they say on the name. However, what you are looking for is either down here at the bottom, the C that you're looking for, or if you scroll through, you're looking for it here as well. So that's Clever. So you just want to click on Clever. This part, it says log in with username and password or scan a badge. We are going to log in with username and password and you'll see the screen. So the first thing you need to do is search for your school. So you're gonna type in Lone Dell Elementary, or Lone Dell, and it will pop up there, Elementary, Lone Dell Elementary School District. So if you click on that, and then for our students, their username is their graduation year from Lone Dell. So if you have a first grader, their graduation year is 28. It's their first initial and then last name. So again, their username is the year they will graduate from Lowndell, first initial, last name. Then click on password. Their password is their date of birth. It is two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and four for the year. So you will just enter that, and then click login. When you do that, you will see Clever working, and then this is their Clever page. On the Clever page, you see some of their teachers have different pages that they may assign other activities on. But then under more apps, you see the Seesaw app. So if you click Seesaw, this is where the students can go into Seesaw and see their activities and their assignments for the day. When they click in, in the upper left-hand corner, they'll see your child's name. They'll see, if they click on their name, they'll see their classes. Our kindergarten through fifth grade students have art, music, PE, and then they have an elementary homeroom. And that elementary homeroom, our virtual language arts is what it may be called as well. They will have their language arts, math, spelling, anything that they need for their grade level core work. Our sixth through eighth graders will have a class for English, math, science, and social studies as well. So students can click between class teachers over here what classes they want to see. Anytime they see that red, oval with the number in it. That means there's a new activity for that class. So if they click on that class and then over on the right hand side, they see the name of the class, their journal, activities, and inbox. For activities, that's where they want to go to do their assignments. And if they click on activities there, then in the middle of their screen comes up the activity that that class teacher wants them to complete. So this is for Mrs. Miller's music class on this one. There's a video and then they have a little bit they can read here, a note from Mrs. Miller, and then they can click to add a response if they need a reply back to Mrs. Miller. So that is, shows them how to complete their activity. On the journal page, sometimes their teachers will put notes and things here and post information to the whole class of what they want them to see. And in the inbox, a student can see class announcements and messages to them that will appear here if the teacher sends a message to the student. If the student wants to switch classes, again, they go up here to their name, they can click here, and now they can see another classroom. For a student to log out, they click on their name, they click on the wheel, and click sign out, and that will take them out of Seesaw, and they should always sign out. They can also click on Clever and sign out of Clever as well. If you have any questions at all about how to use the iPad for Seesaw or Clever, please contact Mrs. Hill or Ms. Britton at Lone Dell R14 and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.